Will this work with Gruden back in Oakland, Ray? Wow, will this work with Gruden? I tell you what, he has a lot to fix. You know, you talk about what what they have to figure out offensively, um, definitely defensively, you know, when you see this. And then if you go back years and years and years ago, right, there's always this thing of what Gruden actually ran into when Gruden went to Tampa, you know? That was Tony Dungy had built this, this fort of... of, Shh. of <laughs> You'll make people mad. You, you mean what he fell into, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so, so now he, he goes back to Oakland mm-hmm. and he says, well, I guess everybody says this is a big, you know, deal. If it's that big of a deal, I, I just really think there's a lot to do in Oakland, right? And I think a certain coach can get them there. But I, I, I'm really excited to see what happens with this. I don't know if, I don't know if he's that sparkle that gives everybody that one hope in Oakland that says, Raider Nation going to a Super Bowl because we have John Gruden. I, I just don't know if that's possible. Mm. I think so much time has passed mm-hmm. since he last coached. Things are different. Mm-hmm. The padded practices during the season, the old be off field. You don't have the time with the players in the building. You don't have the the training camp time with the players that John Gruden is used to. Things are a lot different. And you talk about that one year, and it was a great year because he had a historic defense that year. But after that, the six seasons after that, he's under 500 by six games. He had one 10-win season. Mm -hmm. And you said, well, he never had a quarterback. Well, they had the fourth and the fifth pick overall in the draft the years when he was in Tampa, and he didn't get one. So – Look at the players that he's drafted. Okay, I give him credit. He, if Charles Woodson, but I believe back then Al was running the show then. Al, Al loved – the one thing we know about Al Davis, he loved speed and he loved Heisman Trophy winners. That's why he had more of them than anybody. Mm-hmm. So, with that withstanding, Skip, I get it. You say he stayed close to the game. He's breaking down, you know, all these uh, college players coming in and breaking down tape. Well, you don't get that opportunity. You don't get just carte blanche and say, I want 15 guys that could possibly be first rounders to come in here and look at tape with me. That's not how it works. So he's going to be under a different set of guidelines moving forward. Mm -hmm. And I still believe that when you break down tape as a coach for game plan, you watch tape differently than you do as an analyst. Because as an analyst, you're trying to relay what you've studied on tape and what you see right there to the viewer. When you break down coach as a uh, uh, break down tape as a coach, <clears throat> and you're coaching a team, you're trying to find ways to exploit a defense mm-hmm. or exploit an offense. So I believe those are two different things. You watch tape differently as a player right. than you do now sitting on this mm-hmm. side, Once. because you know you're like, wow, okay. I don't look at things like, man, I'd have ran a seven round here, I'd have ran it like this, or I ran a stick. I'd've... That's not how I watch tape now. I'm looking to see, okay, that's why they did it. This was in the coverage. This is where they're vulnerable. But I'm not thinking about concepts of what I would do. Mm. I'm thinking about what they did and why it was successful or unsuccessful. I just don't see the the lightning, the spark, the flash that you see, Skip. Mm -hmm. The only way I believe this will be successful, John Gruden has to get this team to and win a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Anything less than that, Skip, this is ab this is ab monumental. All this together. Just leave, leave a computer out Failure. of Failure. If he doesn't win a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Forget, like you said, the contract. Okay, I'm not worried about the contract. Mm. You came back out of retirement. When they when somebody lures you out of retirement now, they're trying to tell them, hey, you the guy. That's, sure. what, that's what Miami said. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. You done? I'm done. <laughs> then I'm starting. <laughs> By the way, quick point of order. My friend Derek Brooks continues to tell me that his 2002 Tampa Bay defense was better than the 2000 Ravens defense. Brooks, you high. Just for the record. Just for the record. He's laughing. Yeah. Eric, he's laughing. You know what? I'm going to call him as soon as we get off the chair. No. 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 That's not true. I don't know. That's not true. Boy, they wrecked that Oakland offense in that Super Bowl, didn't they? Did you see? Hold on. Mm. They gave up 165 points in Mm -hmm. 16 games. Yeah. And we had two pick sixes on offense that went on their total. Okay. So speaking of the year 2000, (laughs) help me out here. Because both of you were on this football team in purple. Yeah. And the purple team went to the black team out there, the ones in all black. The black hole. Black hole. 
Yeah, what's it got? John Gruber was coaching. He was coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what the energy was in that stadium that day for that AFC Championship game. Oh, it was electric. It was it crazy. Was it was crazy. It was about as crazy as you probably have ever experienced on a football they field. They thought they were going to the Super Bowl. They thought they was going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Why wouldn't it they be They did. <laughs> the place was <laughs> nuts. You couldn't get your buses in there. Right. Do you remember how hard it was? Yeah. yeah. The, the place was they on They yelling fire. and screaming and banging on the window. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was because of Chucky Gruden. He ignited all that. He just did. I've never seen a better coach fit for a football team with its its image and its reputation. Coach Dicker for the Bears. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that one. <laughs> but, but this Chucky thing, yeah. with that whole Halloween mystique mm-hmm. in the yes. black hole, mm-hmm. it was perfect. Chucky's the horror movie, yeah. you know, dog. Child's play. So, yeah. So, you experienced it firsthand, then you just shut it down because you did a 16-3 to number on John Gruden's offense because you were really, really good, and you got one play out of that tight end, right? Just one play. That's all you needed. That's all we needed. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Number one passing offense in football, yeah. number one rushing offense <laughs> in football. All these numbers I, we I, heard. I, I got it. Over. But my point is you both experienced firsthand what he helped create. He says it created him as a coach, but it was – it was mutual. It was just this symbiotic relationship of Chucky Gruden and the Black Hole. And it just ignited in a near Super Bowl. Obviously, it was one, one short. But that next year, they, they had a real shot. And they got tuck ruled in Foxborough. Yeah. yeah. And could yep. they have gone to Pittsburgh and beaten Cordell Stewart? Probably they could have. Mm-hmm. Could they have upset the Rams in the Super Bowl? Mm-mm. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but, but still, they, they could have gotten to a Super yeah. Bowl. So to me... John Gruden at least has earned the right over time because he became a great broad, not not yeah. a good broadcaster. Yeah, he, he became great. a great broadcaster. Yeah. And he, he, I loved what he said yesterday. I, I only live one time. You get one life to live, right? Yeah. And, and he's saying I needed one more challenge. He ra- he got to raise his sons because he was a broadcaster. Right. And then they're all out now. Right. And his wife is saying, you need to get back. His mother is really beating on him. You got to get back in. This is what you were born to do. His father was a coach. So he gets to go back and recreate what he had with the best young quarterback he is ever going to be able to coach in Derek Carr. Now, is he a great player? I haven't seen that yet. Right. But can can John take him up a level? I think he can. Can he right. turn Can he turn that defense around in Oakland? You got one stud. Can, can he turn that defense around in Oakland in time? I guess the ultimate true. goal, Skip, for him is Shannon said it was what? It's a Super Bowl. It's, it's the only thing. And Super Bowl or bust earlier. I believe he can create a Super Bowl, not not to win it, but to get to a Super Bowl, to win the AFC within the first. Are they going to stay there for three years or two years? I don't know. But before they leave the city of Oakland, I believe John Gruden will get them back Five to years. the Super Bowl. Five years? Five. To, to, before Las Vegas? Well, before a Super Bowl. No, I'll say what, he whatever three, it is. He said three. three. He said three. Yeah, yeah. Skip, this is only going to work. Listen, <laughs> I get that all these people wanted Coach Gruden to go back. Coach Vermeil, his wife, and some other prominent figures wanted him to go back. They did. Did he want to go back? Yes. It's been, mm. it, and I know him. It was eating at him. He's a football coach. He is. And, and he was not a good, he was a great Well, he had a great opportunity because he got an opportunity to do everything except coach. You get to talk about coach. You get to break down no, players. Easy. There's and no responsibility. What? And you're always right. I, I got it. Right. But but where you the point you're missing is he stayed so close to the game. No, no coach out of coaching could stay closer to the game than to keep getting inside the heads of coaches and stars every week. You get to sit with them and pick their brains. Yeah. You get to pick the brains of every well, young he got an inside. He definitely has an inside track on yeah. everybody. Yeah. I mean, one of the reasons why they had a problem with him doing the game last week uh, against Kansas I City. I know, yeah. Because he, he's, do, he going, he's coming from inside, which means he knows all the X's and O's, what's mm-hmm. the tricks. He's talking to the coaches. And now, six months from now, I, he's going to be coaching against these game that coaches correct. that he's scouting. In the first half, I was thinking John sitting up there in the booth saying, <laughs> oh, God, I got to deal with these guys. Yeah. And in the second half, I was thinking he's thinking, oh, I got these guys, right? right? Yeah. No, right. not with his defense. Yeah. He ain't got them guys. No. I don't know. He still got to fix that defense, Skip. Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the weakness of that football team. Yes. Not their offense, because I, I believe any offensive guy with any merit can get that offense right. because they got pieces in place. They got a very good offensive line. Yep. You got a young quarterback. Although he's not elite, you can win with him. Yep. You got Amari Cooper. Mm-hmm. What do you do with Beast Mode? But uh, 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 Richard, Richard mm-hmm. is, is, is a nice running back. You got the draft coming up. You got the a good defense, offensive line. The defense. Yeah. You got Khalil Mack, and then not a whole lot else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
He'll figure it out. Okay. But he's going to bring a spark that you guys don't see. No. I, I, I covered the Oakland team. I covered Jimmy Johnson's early Cowboy teams. Those are the two greatest force fields I've ever seen create, created quickly by a new head coach who just walked in the door and it just, the charisma just oozed all over the building. You could feel it in the locker room. You could feel it in the hallways. You could feel it in the stadium on Sunday. Mm -hmm. There was a new you're talking force. about You're talking about Oakland, though, now. That's, that's, there's, there's a rich tradition there. It is. Like, it's, it's always been that way in, in, in Oakland. Right, it's been pretty dead. It's been, they, yeah, it's been it, one playoff yeah. appearance in fifteen it, it, years. And it's been one. so and it's been so long, so Skip. Long. So it's not going to take much to get them excited. Right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.